Tony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on Ruby Gilman, Teenage Kraken. A story about Krakens living in the ocean where the mermaids are the bad guys. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pioneers. Books 1 through 11. Available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. I will be at the Coho Brewing Company in Cape May County Courthouse. No, Cape May Courthouse, New Jersey. At 7 p.m for uh, my talk on how to hunt the Jersey Devil. Now, uh, this is the bad character. Uh, it's funny because they get made her a redhead. So now Ariel is evil and the Kraken girl is the good guy. So, uh, and this is her weird friends, the Kraken girl's friends, I think. Uh, they're a bunch of weirdos. Of course, she's a misfit, uh, but she's got superpowers. And uh, she's going to save the day. And you can pretty much write the rest. So, Krakens have all these powers, apparently. And the mermaids are the bad guys in this movie. So, that's the big that's the big reversal. And there's the mermaid. She turns into a giant. And then, uh, then the Kraken turns into a giant. And there's a big fight at the end. I mean, uh, in, in theaters this summer. Um, you know... It's not a bad concept, I guess, because you're, you're giving us something new. You're giving us some new mythos. I don't think it's based on anything other than I think Hollywood's really going out of its way to uh, destroy redheads. <laughs> so, so first they were replacing them. Now they'll make them evil, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure why they have such a hard on for, for uh, destroying redheads. And I'm not sure. She's supposed to be hit, hidden in the school, but she's all blue. I Like, I don't understand. I don't understand how she can hide in the schools. And these are the mermaids, their, their eternal enemy. And I guess this is her friend, her, her potential uh, love interest. I don't know. So the premise is, so first act, uh, Ruby, not, this isn't Ruby. This is the mermaid. They show her a lot. Ruby here who is blue with funny ears. Like, nobody says, well, you're blue. Like, you know, how does she pass for a teenager looking like that? That doesn't make any sense to me. But getting past that, um, she's a normal, quote-unquote, teenager. Just wants to be a normal teenager. But she's a kraken. She's a kraken, secretly. So, uh, uh, she, she can't uh help herself in the school because the mermaids are bad and but she's also the popular girl the mermaid and so she can't compete with uh the mermaid girl and uh, she's just awkward teenager but eventually the mermaid threatens to expose her secret so she's forced to go to her grandmother kraken to learn to use her powers. So second act, she goes to a grandmother and she reveals all her crazy powers. And then uh, she's got all kinds of crazy powers. She's got energy coming out of her eyes, body armor, super speed. I mean, they actually list this in the in the trailer. It's weird. It's a little too on the nose. Poorly written, I would say. A little, little, little ham-fisted. The concept isn't bad, you know. Because you got a bit of a reversal here, you know. You could kind of play around with the mythos a little bit like this and say, oh no, the mermaids are the bad ones. Because in mythology, they were bad. But the Krakens were bad too. They were all bad. It's the humans that are supposed to be the good guys. Spoil it. Anyhow, so she learns to use her superpowers and then uh, ends up in a fight at the end of the movie with her third act is big giant monster fight i mean for a kids movie it's not bad it incorporates the high school stuff i would just say why not make ruby like the mermaid and you know have her transform in from a young girl into a kraken like why are you why is she accepted for being blue and having wacky ears like didn't anybody know oh, you're kraken <laughs> 
Yeah, you seem to be a Kraken. Uh, that seems to be a hot teenage girl over there. Uh, I, I can see why she's popular, but you are a, a, a mutant. So I, I don't know what they're doing with this. But I, I'm sure it's all about being accepted for who you are. And it's about the misfits triumphing. That's not, not too bad of a concept. I don't know if the execution here is going to work, though. Uh, let's read this. Oh, my God. What a synopsis. Um, sometimes the hero you are meant to be lies just beneath the surface. It, it, it's not beneath the surface. She's blue. This summer, this summer, DreamWorks Animation dives into the turbulent waters of high school with a hilarious, heartfelt action comedy about a shy teenager who discovers she's a part of a legendary royal lineage of mythical sea krakens and that her destiny in the depths of the ocean is bigger than she ever dreamed. I guess. Is that something little girls aspire to? I don't, I don't really think so. Sweet, awkward, 16-year-old Ruby Gilman, uh, Lana Condor, is desperate to fit in at Oceanside High, but she mostly just feels invisible. How? She's bright blue. She's, she's math tutoring her skater boy crush, who only seems to be admire her for her fractals, and she's prevented from hanging out with the cool kids at the beach because her overprotective super mom, Tony Collette, has forbade Ruby from ever getting in the water. But when she breaks her mom's number one rule, Ruby discovers that she's a direct descendant of the war warrior Kraken Queens and is destined to inherit the throne from her commanding grandmother, Jane Fonda. <laughs> the warrior queen, queen of the seven seas. Oh boy, I bet I bet she couldn't wait to voice that. The Kraken are sworn to protect the oceans of the world against vain, power-hungry mermaids who have been battling with the Kraken for eons. There's one major and immediate problem with that. The school's beautiful, popular new girl, Chelsea, uh, Annie Murphy, just happens to be a mermaid. Ruby will ultimately need to embrace who she is to... Go big to protect those she loves most. Ruby Gilman, Teenage Kraken, stars an extraordinary cast that includes Emmy winner Coleman Domingo, Fear the Walking Dead, as Ruby's supportive dad. Emmy nominee Sam Richardson, Veep, as Ruby's enthusiastic uncle. And Blue Chapman, Council of Dads, as Ruby's cool little brother. Everybody's cool in this. Directed by Academy Award-nominated filmmaker Kirk Demicio. Vivo and the Crudes, the Crudes, and produced by Kelly Cooney, Celila, Trolls World Tour, and Trolls, with Farn Pearl, the Crudes New Age, Troll World Tour, serving as co-director. The feature film, the film features a comedic powerhouse supporting cast, including Emmy nominee Will Forte, eh, Last Man on Earth, Emmy nominated Nicole Byer, nailed it. YouTube Diamond Creator, uh, Liz, Lisa Koshi, Lisa On Demand, and Ramona Young, Never Have I Ever, and Eduardo Franco, Stranger Things, and Echo Cullium Arrow. Well, it does have quite a cast, I'll give you that. Ultimately, I'm not loving the execution because uh, the, the easiest thing you could have done in animation was to make Ruby relatively normal looking like i get it you got to give it a little a little sign that she's a crack and right maybe give her weird ears or weird hair or whatever um but you're not you know it's like so how are kids even i mean it's obvious she's a kraken that kind of undermines your whole concept here uh i get it you're going for like oh people accept me for who i am but she's blue <laughs> Uh, okay, I mean that that kind of ruins it for me. I mean, is it going to be good? I mean, it, again, it's not a bad concept to turn the whole mermaid thing on its head, but it just seems like you're going out of your way to slam redheads yet again, Hollywood. I think I would pass on this. Maybe if it was on VOD or I could watch it for free, and I was really, really, really desperate for something, and I heard it was kind of watchable. I mean, it doesn't look totally unwatchable but i mean the crudes that didn't look great yeah not, not a credit i i throw around but i guess it's better than nothing i guess it's better than some of these woke uh cartoons i guess i don't know is this woke it doesn't look woke but 
I mean, it just looks like they made a huge mistake here. Like, kind of a basic mistake. Would have been cool if she transformed. I mean, she's got a million powers. Why not give her the power to transform into a human? I, I don't know. Anyhow, that's it for me, Tony D and Little Joan. Check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for our more base takes. If you can find the more base takes, take it. I'll be at Coho Brewing at 7 o'clock tonight. Hope to see you there, and we'll see you in the next one.